Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. We're now going straight into our first topical issue, and it's about the Lagos panel scuffle over the reopening of the Lekki Toll Gate. Now, on Saturday, the members of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry into alleged police brutality and you know, to investigate the night of October 20th, uh, 2020, the night of the alleged shooting you know, at peaceful protesters by uh, soldiers, uh, we saw that what happened there never happened at the panel before, where you know, basically the panel members split into what some people would like to call two separate factions, you know, with Justice uh, Okuobi, Doris Okuobi, making a ruling about you know the reopening of the Lekki Toge. She had considered the application of the LCC team and she said, you know, let the Lekki Toge be reopened. But uh, the other faction of the panel was saying no, the investigation into the forensic audits, into the forensic details have not been completed. But uh, we saw a shouting match uh, at that hearing. Let's now take a listen to a report I packaged. From calm and quiet. Proceedings at the Lagos State's Judicial Panel of Inquiry and restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses and other matters quickly turned into a shouting match on Saturday. This scuffle is because the chairperson of the panel, Justice Doris Okwobi, grants the Lecky Concession Company, LCC, permission to repossess the plaza. Upon all said, I hereby make an order for LCC to repossess its toll gates, which have been under the control of the panel forthwith. Upon indication given that the forensic analysis of the said toll plaza has been concluded, the order made for repossession is for purpose of evaluation of the plaza by LCC insurance, renovation and total control of the aforesaid plaza from today and so. Justice Okuobi makes the pronouncement after taking arguments for and against the reopening of the facility in an application made by counsel to the LCC, Damola Seriki. The plaza has been under the control of the panel since it began sitting in October following the end SARS protest. After she announced her decision, her team rose to leave. They include Shagun Awusoya, popularly known as Segalink. Director Citizens Rights Oluwa Tonyi Odusoya, DRG. Taiwo Lakonu, representing the police, and Lucas Koyeju from the National Human Rights Commission. But as they walked out, the other absent members of the panel walked in. They include Ebuolu Adeburua, senior advocate of Nigeria, Patience Udo, representing the civil society, Rinu Odoala and Temitope Majekudumi, representing the NSARS protesters. They entered the hall to deliver a dissenting ruling. To deliver a dissenting opinion. And that's why you saw that he came in late. Uh, you the recall, panel will rise whilst the... You recall that... Uh, the panel will rise. Uh, 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 please, just, just wait, gentlemen. Uh, you recall that we were here and we decided that this panel does not form a quorum if the youth representatives are not present. You recall that when we were inaugurated, the members of the youth representatives were not here. Just as this team was speaking, LCC lawyer Rotimi Seriki and Lagos State Council Enito Thomas interrupted them and a shouting match ensued. Because of that, I'm sorry to interject. No, no, please don't. I'm delivering a ruling. Don't interject, please. Okay, okay. There's a reason for it. No, I please don't interject. I please. think you should refuse yourself. You are don't, taking LCC. Don't to interject, on please. The issue of the toll plaza. Gentlemen, I deliver that. I, I deliver the dissenting opinion. The opinion is already LCC. there. I have got processes here. Please, please. Where you sue LCC? Ladder comes. I have got processes here. That's you sue LCC? I take your argument. Yes. Now, the Legal practitioners have reacted to this. They explained that the panel should have formed a quorum of nine members and that a decision taken by some members of the panel in the absence of others do not hold much weight. 
all of them deliver their ruling. If there are three judges, if they are not agreed, two will deliver, one will deliver. Two will say, this is the majority decision. And the minority are allowed to deliver their own ruling too. But it will appear that the chairman of the panel did not make provision for that. And this is the crux of the matter today. The possession of the Leggy Toll Gate is key to the investigations of the events that occurred on the night of October 20th, 2020, being the scene of the alleged shooting of protesters by the Nigerian army. The dissenting panel insists that LCC cannot repossess the Leckie Toll Gate because a forensic audit of the evidence is yet to be completed. So as it stands, there are two decisions by two factions of the panel which were set up to investigate allegations of police brutality and the night of the Leckie shootings, and thus a stalemate. Yes, and that was a look at the events on Saturday at the hearing of the Lagos Panel of Inquiry. We now have with us Liberosa Shama joining us to discuss this. Good morning, sir, and thanks again for being here. Yeah, good morning. Let's first talk about the legal angles to this. They were supposed to form a quorum, but they didn't, did they? And what are the legal implications of this? Yeah, if there are nine members, um, uh, you now begin to look at uh, what um, the the quorum ought to be two-third of the nine members, and then um, what's two-third of nine? Um, if they, they were not up to that quorum, then um, hearing that application, because if you remember, when the panel was considered, the panel didn't sit because the youth representative refused to sit because of their lack of faith in the process. And the panel said they couldn't sit because they, couldn't, they didn't form a quorum. And so, if now you're sitting and then you are hearing an application without a quorum, what is the implication of that sitting? Um, secondly, it is um, a notorious fact that all in, in, um, in matters such as this, all the panel members must not agree. That's why there's room for dissenting. But a majority judgment will, or ruling will carry the day. But you must allow other members, if they all have, you know, different, if there are some um, applications that will be so germane that each member would want to, you know, pen down a ruling expressing their, either endorsing or dissenting, either agreeing with the uh, uh, majority judgment or dissenting with the judgment. And so those, that must be allowed. And then I've always, I've always said this, that this panel would might end up as a journey to nowhere. If you remember, the criticism that greeted the panel, one, that the governor is an interested party. He cannot appoint or nominate a panel that will investigate his action because he, accusing fingers have been pointed at him repeatedly. So not too long ago, the army, you know, saying they were no longer going to appear before the panel and the heavens had not fallen. And the same panel had said initially, oh, well, there's an audit, a forensic audit report going on, and so we don't want to, the toge to be repossessed. And now you say, okay, without, you know, the, the, the presence of that report before the panel, at least one would have expected that it is that report. It is not for you to say it has been concluded. It is that report that we allow the public to say yes, investigations, the forensic investigation have been concluded. So now the panel will no longer need the report. What if in the process of you know writing your, your report, you now feel the need to go back to the toll gates to have access to it? And anyway, as we speak, a lot of things would have been tampered with because this is a toll gate that people access every so, day. So, so, so also quickly yeah. to um, a, a, a council in the pan, representing a party in the panel saying that a member of the panel is an interested party having sued Lagos State Government on the issue of Lekito Gate. Is the Lagos State Government, was the Lagos State Government not aware 
of the fact that they were sued by this party before he, he was nominated as a member to represent um, uh, an interest in the panel. So these are the many questions. And so the only answer I can get is that you know, this thing was, um, you know, constituted to assuage the fears and feeling of certain persons, but that now that, you know, the issue is gradually die, dying down, let us look for a way to throw spanner in the works. Mm -hmm. And so, let, let's know, Let's go back to your, your um, statements on the forensic audit. Um, a, a lot of people have also argued that, yes, you know, that should be done, it should be completed. Um, how, at what point, you know, would it be said that a forensic audit has been completed? Don't and is it even that. possible from, you know, the way that things have played out that a proper and complete forensic audit can still be carried out on, on, on that, uh, you know, location? You, you need to look at these issues from two points of view. The point of view of, you know, morals and sentiment and the point of view of legality. Um, it's a business premises for certain persons. You da can't rule that out. Um, the government, although there have been politics of, or was it concession, the government buy it back, you know, and then some largesse or some politicians, that should take the back burner. It's a business premises. That should be put into consideration. That's why whatever the situation is, the way also, because also, mind you, people were alleged to have died in the process. And so, no matter how you want to look at it, government should be sensitive to all these issues. Business, and then debt, and which is the reason for the panel. And so, the only way you can conclusively assuage the mind and feeling of everybody is to say, yes, we are done with the forensic audit, and this is it. So the moment there is a forensic audit, I do no longer see, I no longer see why you still want to be in possession of that toll gate. Because whatever you want to, what you want it for had been concluded and report tendered. But when you say a report had, is, is a, the conclusion, investigation had been concluded, but the report had not been tendered before you, the, you create a doubt in the mind of people. that oh, Why don't you just, what, why the hurry? Why don't you just, if you say the report will be next week, allow the report to be tendered, and then you can ask them to repossess, even without an application. Okay, so now that it seems we have two separate decisions and a stalemate, is there a high authority that can mediate into this conflict? Is there a stalemate, actually? You have five to four. So the five is a majority decision. Four is a minority decision. So in a matter like they have a reason. They know why they made it a panel of nine. There's always, and that's why... If you go to the Court of Appeal, it's a panel of three. You can never have a panel of four. A panel of three. At the Supreme Court, is either a panel of five or seven. So there's always you know, a majority and minority. So there's a majority decision here and um, a minority decision. If the, if the um, uh, panel, the head of the panel, had allowed you know, a quorum, and then since they're already in majority, they probably were taking this application, written their ruling, and then since they're already in majority, they allow the minority to also give it a, a, a decision. And then, but we all know that the exactly, majority will take the day. Exactly but what we're the going way to. it has gone, it creates the impression that you know there is a sinister move by you know, um, you hear the voice of um, Esau, but the hand of Jacob, that maybe Lagos State Government is pulling the string behind this. You know, that's the impression you, you okay, know, we so are, we are just, just to clarify this here. issue, Mr. Oshoma, they basically gave their ruling. It was a majority of five to four. They should have allowed the other party give their own dissenting opinion without the interruptions and the whole chaos we saw there. If you're saying right now that they have the majority decision, we have our, our team, basically Plus TV Africa, we're sending reporters on the field today to see if you know LCC would actually repossess the toll gate today. But really, do you are you then saying that LCC can now go ahead and repossess the toll gate? Yes, LCC can go ahead to repossess the toll gate. The majority has um, and has given decision, um, and that's why I, I am saying that. The impression you create for those people who protested and the people who lost loved ones is that you really don't care about them. And so that 
you know, you didn't even allow the whole issues to be properly handled. And then you say, you, you know, go take back your toge How? and uh, allow the insurance to evaluate and assess and, you know, all of those things. What you, you, the message you are passing is that you don't care. It would still be, it would have been tidier if you had allowed, you know, the whole process to run seamlessly. You know, the panel would have gained mileage if they had allowed the process run seamlessly. It still, it still would have ended in a judgment of majority of five against minority of four and allow the minority have their say, but the majority will have their way. But when you now make it look as if, no, the minority, you don't have a say here. And then even um, um, uh, uh, Seriki, who I respect so much, the senior colleague, and um, I had worked under him at some point. I didn't expect that shouting match. The majority had delivered a ruling. The minority wants to deliver a dissenting ruling. Allow them to have their say. It is their right to have their say. Yes, and I'm at sure the man. end of the day, you... You, have, you already have the majority ruling, you know. So all of this, you know, you don't allow your sentiment to take over, uh, take over the, the, the proceedings and then, you know, it's as if, look, it's all about this toge. It's all about the money we want to make mm. from this place. It's all about the investment. How, we, how important. Forgetting about the fact that we're talking about blood and life here, mm. you know. So you need to find a way to balance it and not make it so obvious to the people. Now... With what had happened, a lot of people will also further lose confidence, you know, in the panel to get justice. How important is the conversation of uh, proof of that place being a crime scene or not? Proof of death, proof of, of uh, killings, proof of, you know, in any way. Um, how important is that yeah, in yeah, all of this? There are allegations. And, and, you know, and for those even who... before the same panel, medical doctors have come to testify just last week to say, we treated gunshot wounds. You know, one said, though, they didn't extract the bullet because they didn't feel there was need to. Right? And even, even testified to the fact that it was heady to leave those bullets if they wouldn't cause any harm. But the fact that they treated gunshot wounds, whether somebody died or not, the government has even admitted that two people died. You know, so this were very, these are very important. So the essence of the panel, no matter how, how whether they have um, jurisdiction or not, is to look into, it's an investigating panel, is to look into the activities that happen and then submit a report. That report, whether well, government will do anything with it, is another thing. And then one big thing, very germane, to win public confidence, to say, look, government gave opportunity to everybody to be heard on this issue, and government investigated and found out that some persons were culpable or some persons were not culpable. But when you now begin to play it in a way that there are there is more to it. Yes, there are there might be interests. I look at the the it is a notorious fact also that um, a member of the panel, Ebodu Adeborua, right from you know the inception of that toll gate had been being a lucky resident, had been at the forefront of those challenging, you know, the tolling of that road. I don't know if the matter is still in court now, judgment had been delivered. But all of this we already in the know before government appointed yes. him to be a member of the panel. To look at the activities of what happened at a toll gate that he was challenging its uh, existence. Yes. I, I want to also bring in, since we're talking members of the panel now, the the um, representative of the National Human Rights Commission, Lucas Koyejo, um, and his uh, voting yes that it should be um, reopened or be handed back to the LCC. How much controversy does that bring? He, he, for me, this that's not. It doesn't. Um, there's no controversy as uh, to how he voted. My issue, problem here is there are two major people here, forces. One is the chairman of the panel. The second is, you know, the uh, senior advocate giving a dissent judgment. These are two senior legal personnel, you know. Mm -hmm. So. One would have expected that you allow the process to run seamlessly. Yes. Every other member will either vote yes or no. And so, in, no matter how they vote, since you already have a panel of five saying, yes, it should be allowed. He has his reason. The National Human Rights Commission member has his reason for allowing it to say, look, if we have, if we have you know, the forensic auditor that we employed had concluded investigation and we have probably asked him behind and he has said, look, I no longer have the need of going there. But even if he's telling you behind closed doors, this is information that you're only privy to. 
other members or Should the public yes. are not privy to it. The worst case, bring that to your auditor before the panel in, in, in taking that application and then let other counsel have opportunity of putting questions to him. Is there any need for you to go back to this place? Is your report concluded? And the man says, my report is concluded and by next week it should be ready. I do not have any need to go back. So now the information is, you know, before the public. It's, it's public, before yes. the press. Before, you know, so there will be the, the uh, dissenting judgment might just end in the realm of, you know, speculation or sentiment. But when you do it this way, I, I always yes. talk about information and, and transparency. And, and transparency. Yes. When you are not transparent, you give room for you know, conjecture. And there is no limit to the ability of the mind to conject. All right. Thank you, you very much, Mr. Adebo Sashama. It's been a very interesting discourse here on the Lagos panel of inquiry into alleged police brutality and the killings on the 9th of October 20th, 2020. So two things. First things first, expecting to see Lekki Torgate, if it will be open or not, as I said earlier, would bring you that report, go into that place to find out what the facts are on the ground. And also waiting for the, the report from the forensic audit team to see yeah. if... Uh, uh, basically, whatever they've, they've come and up with at the end of the day. It's also important, you know, to know what next. You know, if the forensic audit uh, team eventually comes up and says, yes, there was a crime committed here, people actually did die here, people were shot here, what next? You know, how does that also still affect, you know, the, the opening of the toll? You might go back. You know, and go back to the done with that, The information you need, you've collated all of that. All you need now is a report, a report that is subject to prosecution or investigation. Interesting. True. All right. Um, like your residents also would have uh, their own opinions here and there, and hopefully, you know, it can be also, uh, can be aired also. Um, we would, of course, go on a short break when we come back. We're moving talking into other things that are uh, major conversations across the country this morning, and that mostly is about the Bitcoin cryptocurrency ban here in Nigeria. Um, what does it mean for Nigerians, for business, for our economy, and why exactly has the CBN made that decision? We'll talk about that right next.